welcome today we will discuss balanced incomplete block design b i b d it is a special case for randomized complete block design now first what we see we see that what is BIBD balanced incomplete block design then how the statistical analysis of BIBD will be done then we will see the least square estimation of the parameters and some references primarily uh, the materials are taken from this book design analysis of experiment by Douglas Montgomery. So, what is incomplete block design? Randomized block designs in which every treatment is not present in every block are known as randomized incomplete block design. And a balanced incomplete block design BIBD is an incomplete block design in which any two treatments appear together an equal number of times. So, you see this table. In this table, there are A treatments, B blocks, but what it is seen that in every block some of the treatments are missing in the sense experiment for that treatment was not done. So, in column 1 some missing, column 2 some missing, similarly in column B some missing. So, it is primarily uh, because of the may be unavailability of raw materials if raw material is blocked that this that batches of raw material will not be uh, able to accommodate all the treatments or maybe uh, the if the operator is uh, blocked then operator may not be available for all the treatments so under such situation incomplete uh, block design is made and and it will be it will be balanced if that equal number of that at least any two pair of treatments will occur equal number of times in each block. So, general case is that suppose uh, there are A treatments and B blocks and in each block contain K treatments and each treatment occurs R time in the design, then there are n equal to a r equal to b k total observations and it is obvious if you see the this slide, you see the table what happened although there are a number of rows because a number of treatments are there, but some treatments are missing. Hence. So, there are k number of treatments in each block and if you if you see that the number of uh, total number of uh, blocks considered under each treatment that is also not b it is something less than b depending on the number missing. Suppose that k number of uh, a r number of blocks are used for treatment 1 lambda which basically the number of times each pair of treatment appears in the same block. Suppose block number 1, so number of times each pair may be 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1 a like this appears that is what is that number that is lambda and we will find out that the simple mathematics that lambda will be r k minus 1 by a minus 1. So, then what is the quantity lambda number of times each pair of treatments appear lambda equal to number of times each pair of treatments appear in appear in the same block. This will be R k minus 1 by a minus 1, where a is the number of treatments 
k is the number of treatments treatments in each block and r is the number of replications against each treatment for each treatment for each treatment for example when a equal to b this design is known as symmetric symmetric so let us understand then that what is the layout for balanced incomplete block design it will be something like this there will be 1 2 3 like a number of treatments there will be 1 2 like b number of blocks so there will be data but there may be some missing missing points again data is there so you may find what will happen in each block there will be k number of actual treatments k number of treatments against again it this may be missing so what will happen against each treatment there will be r number of blocks will be used so r will be the replication per treatment in addition what will happen it will be balanced because every two treatment that will occur in a same block each same number of times ok. So, this condition is known as B i B d balanced incomplete block design. I repeat a balanced incomplete block design is an incomplete block design in which any two treatments appear together an equal number of times. So, what will be the statistical model? The statistical model remains same as RCBD. In RCBD what you have seen? You have seen y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus beta j plus epsilon i j when i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b. So, so, this is the treatment effect and then this is your block, but you will not found what will happen you will see that you do not have a and this side if I say b n equal to a b number of observations you do not have this number of observations this will not happen the reason reason it is incomplete and it is incomplete so as a result n will be either a and each treatment having r replication a r or each block having k treatment so b k there is a difference so difference is in number of treatments total number of observations so, difference is there will be a number of total treatments, there will be b number of total blocks, but the number of total observations will be a r or b k. If a equal to 4 and b, b equal to suppose 4 and suppose r equal to 3 and also k equal to 3 let it be like this, then what will happen n will be 12. Okay. So, accordingly what will happen your calculation for SST, SST, SS treatments, SS error all will be different. Okay. So, now what are the sources of variation in this case also sources of variation this is what is the starting point in, uh, in, in, in analysis sources of variation the obviously treatment then error sorry block then error 
then that this will this ultimately will lead to total. And when we calculate SS, what you calculate you do SS treatment, SS block, SS error and SS total. So, we will see that how this SS all those things are calculated. Go to slide, then you see that SST is sum total of y i j square i and j changing minus y double dot square by n that is what is the formula earlier you have used for R C B D what is the formula we have used S S T equal to double sum i equal to i and j and here we have write i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b y i j square minus y dot dot square by n. So, here what happened you will not get y i j for all a b combinations there will be some combinations where missing value will be there that will not be counted. So, that is why for b i b d we will just to avoid this we will write s s t equal to sum i and j we are not putting 1 to b or 1 to a rather I am we are writing like this minus y dot dot square by n. So, here n equal to a r or b k and y dot 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 is the total and here whatever y i j available the all y i j square this will give you your s s t. Okay. Now, <coughs> in order to calculate and here in R C B D we have written S S T equal to S S treatment plus S S blocks plus S S error. Here we will write S S T equal to S S treatment and that treatment will be adjusted, adjusted because there are missing values. So, plus S S blocks whatever we got plus S S E. S S block is not adjusted because we are interested in we want to block and we adjust S S treatment and so that we will get the actual contribution of treatment here. So, suppose here if you calculate S S block what you do? you write down j equal to 1 to b y dot j square minus y double dot j square by n this is R C B D randomized complete block design here it is incomplete block design this you write and then 1 by 1 by a 1 by a this is the formula. So, here the formula will be S S blocks formula will be see there is not a treatments against each block against each block there will be k treatments. So, 1 by k sum total j equal to j equal to 1 to b um, you write down, but there will be some missing value that will be excluded. So, let me write like this j then y dot j square minus y double dot square by n. So, as it is y dot j obviously, you will be getting j equal to b because every the total we will get. Let me go back you see even though missing value is here, but y dot 1 this is computed because rest will be totaled y 2 like this. So, that means you will be getting 1 to b. So, here 1 to b, but in this calculation you are comparing all the you are basically taking all the values all y 1 to 1 missing values you are excluding. So, we are not writing that what to what it is basically all available. Okay. Now, how do you calculate the S S treatment adjusted? So, in order to compute S S treatment adjusted we will create a quantity called q i. Okay. 
So, q i will be y i dot minus 1 by k j equal to 1 to b n i j y dot j i equal to 1 to a. Here n i j this will be 1 if the block contains the treatment contain the ith treatment. Otherwise, it is 0 otherwise. So, this is your row total, this is your column total and 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 you are creating y i j a q i using this formula. Okay. And then what we will do? We will write down S S treatment adjust it. This equal to k times sum total of q i square q i square i equal to 1 to a by lambda into a. So, S S treatment adjusted will be computed using this. Then S S total is known, S S block is known, blocks known, S S treatment adjusted is known. So, S S error will be by subtraction, by subtraction, you can calculate by subtraction. Okay. Now, now we will see the ANOVA table for this. Let us see. So, sources of variation treatment adjusted blocks error and total sum of square that is S S treatment is k times q i square by lambda a degree of freedom is a minus 1 blocks 1 by k sum of dot j square minus y or dot dot by n degree of freedom is b minus 1 then S S E by subtraction because you know the S S T is sum of y i j square minus y dot dot by n and its degree of freedom is n minus 1. So, similarly n minus 1 minus a minus 1 minus b minus 1 that will give you that the error degree of freedom n minus a minus b plus 1. Here n is not a b. So, if you recall if you recall in complete block design the error degrees of freedom n minus 1 minus a minus 1 minus b minus 1. So, this is nothing but m minus 1 minus a plus 1 minus b plus 1. So, that means this this cancel out. So, n minus a minus b plus 1 that is what we have written here in this case. But if we put n equal to a b, then this minus a minus b plus 1, which is nothing but a b minus 1 minus 1 b minus 1, which is a minus 1 into b minus 1. So, this is a minus 1 and b minus 1 is the error degrees of freedom in case of complete randomized complete block design, but when it is coming as incomplete block design then this n is a r or b k. So, you cannot write in this form. So, as a result the incomplete case error degrees of freedom n minus b minus plus 1, where n equal to a r or b k. The ANOVA computation will remain same remaining ta table remaining part of the table is like this that first find out the ms treatment ms block and ms error then you see f0 ms treatment adjusted by mse and this will be f distribution uh, distributed with ms treatment be a minus 1 and n minus a plus minus b plus 1 
degrees of freedom. So, we will we will see one uh, tutorial here in terms of example. What is this? Let an engineer is studying methods for improving the yield of a chemical process. The treatment factor of interest is four different chemical formulations A, B, C and D. The factor to be blocked is batches of raw materials with four labels, one, two, three, four labels. That means four different batches. The engineer wants to study the effect of four different chemical formulations on the process yield. Let there is shortage of raw materials so that uh, that the raw material cannot uh, so that okay. Let there is shortage of raw materials that can accommodate only three chemical formulations. Although we have four chemical formulation, but raw material every batch is such that it cannot accommodate all four uh, treatments. So let three treatments can be possible, and then the then this design is basically B I B D balance incomplete block design. We have shown here some hypothetical data that as if if you if you go for uh, experiments with this chemical formulation and with these four batches of raw materials, suppose the yield is coming like this. So, please do not attach to any units for this uh, yield, but what I mean to say suppose let the data is like this and yield in some unit is like this, then you see that that first batch of raw material is treated with chemical formulation that is mean A, C and D, second batch A, B, C, third batch B, C, D, fourth batch A, B and D. So, like this here what happened it is a balanced one because you see you take any two uh, treatments and you will find they appear equal number of times. Here A is 4, B is 4, K equal to 3, also R equal to 3. Okay. So, <coughs> with this data, let us calculate. What we will do? A equal to 4, B equal to 4, K 3, R 3. So, lambda will be 2. So, what is, what is your lambda value? Your lambda value we have seen earlier. Lambda value is is this one I have given you. So, R k minus 1 by a minus 1. Okay. So, what is R? R is 3, k minus 1 is 2, a minus 1 is 3. So, lambda equal to 2. For this example, lambda equal to 2. Now, now we will calculate the remaining things. First of all is rho total that is y 1 dot it is 286, y 2 dot, y 3 dot and y 4 dot. Similarly, y dot 1 that column total 309, 329, 316 and 299 and grand total is 1253. Obviously, grand total is this plus this plus this plus this or this. So, now what you will do? You will create calculate q 1 what is q q i y i total minus 1 by k j equal to 1 to b n i j y dot j. So, i equal to 1 to a. So, we have computed it and you see the value suppose only one I will show you suppose q 1 when we are computing q 1 that time you will write y 1 total dot minus 1 by k is 3 sum total of j equal sum total of n i j y n i means 1 suppose j is basically 1 2 4 and y dot j. So, y 1 total is 286 minus 1 by 3. Now, n i j is 1 if that jth block contains that treatment otherwise it is 0. 
So, as a result it will be here in the first case that 3 that block 3 in case of block 3 there is no treatment. So, accordingly this this total that y dot 3 will not be counted others will be counted and it will be 309 for the first one, 329 for the second one and 299 for the fourth one and divided by 3 this resulting quantity is minus 26.33. Okay. So, q 1 is calculated like this similarly q 2 you calculate q 2 is 328 minus 3 uh, that 1 by 3 within bracket 309 then this will not uh, the this will not be counted that block which one we are talking about q 2 ok this will not be counted 320 309 will not be counted because in, uh, for b it is not considered. So, then 329 plus 316 plus 229 by 3 and this average will be subtracted from 328 it will give you 13.33. So, in this manner you are calculating q i and when you square it you will be getting these values and the grand total q i square is to 156.22. Then you are using the this computation like S S treatment k i equal to 1 to a q i square by lambda a. So, all q i's are known q 1, q 2, q 3, q 4 is known lambda is 2 and, and so you can calculate. So, k is 3 lambda is 2 a is 4, if you put you will get lambda s s treatment. So, here is the computation for s s treatment. Similarly, s s block using the formula I have shown you the formula earlier I can I can repeat this one. So, what you will do you will use s s t calculation this formula s s treatment adjusted this formula s s block this formula and then ultimately using those formula you will be in a position to um, get all those values ok. So, degree of freedom a minus 1 b minus 1 and n minus a minus b plus 1. So, that means the chemical formulation has significant effect on the process yields. Okay. So, this is what is B i B d uh, that balance incomplete uh, block design. Now, I will show you very quickly that how the regression approach is used to compute the formula. It is similar to R C B d you have b i uh, that mu and tau i and beta j these parameters and only thing you see that for when you are talking about tau i there are r times it is appearing. So, instead of instead of a r is appearing everywhere and similarly for beta j instead of b k times beta k times in each block the um, treatments are considered. So, instead of instead of your uh, this one uh, a it is k and then k times it is coming and that means you are getting this many equations uh, j equal to 1 to b and i equal to a. So, a plus b plus 1 number of equations you are getting and now solving this you will be getting this kind of equations and you have this this constant and then uh, this this will be your this will be your resultant equation and from here you will be able to find out tau i. This tau i is k q i by lambda a, okay, tau i is k q i by lambda a. So, this is what is b, b, b i b d and I have given you the simple details as well as one, one numericals example, hope you will be able to reproduce it. Thank you.